Hello there, Chris here from Sex Star Wars Rock and Roll, but where am I? Well, welcome to Hands On, a new feature that I'm going to do on my blog, where as Wets looks at just t-shirts, sometimes other fashion articles as well. Hands On will look at pretty much anything and everything else. I've been waiting to do this first one for a while. This is the Munes Deluxe... Munes? Actually, that's a pretty good band name in itself. But rather, this is the, the Muse Drones Deluxe Edition of their latest album. I pre-ordered it, and it should have arrived on the release date, which in Australia was the, I think, 5th of June. However, Australia Post has pretty shitty service sometimes, and my parcel actually went missing. I tried to contact Warner, they didn't reply. I contacted Australia Post, they did reply, but said that I couldn't do anything about it because it was from a business account, so tell Warner to contact them. So I contacted Warner again, they still didn't reply. I left an angry message on their Facebook, you know, in public. Companies usually respond to that because they don't want to get a bad rap. They still didn't reply. I managed to contact the distributor and they sorted it out. About a week later, Warner decided to reply, apologizing for not contacting me, blah, blah, blah. Well, too late for that. But anyway, I wasn't actually expecting it to arrive because the distributor, we are unified, they said they'd contact me again once Australia Post had figured out what the problem was and if they had to resend it or not. I hadn't heard anything from them since, so I assumed they were still sorting something out. And I was actually going to send them another email soon, just asking for an update. And then a couple of minutes ago, there was a ring at the door. There's the postie, and he has a parcel for me. And I can tell from the packaging, that's exactly what I've been waiting for. So the Deluxe Edition comes with an LP, so it's going to be big and square. Also, it says there it's from Warner Music. So a pretty good guess as to what it is. And the whole point of these hands-on videos, oh, they won't always have a knife, I'm just preparing. But the whole point of them is to get a hands-on look at some of the many cool things I own. If they happen to be new things like this one, there'll also be an unboxing video and a review all in one. So I guess let's get to it and see what's inside. Cut it, it's all open, so let's see what's inside. Ah, okay, so it's actually two boxes packed together, so it's not like a double laid box or anything. Um, that's a good idea, certainly, certainly prevents damage. So yeah, double laid boxing, very interesting. Shipping details. That shipping there, that has to be refunded because Australia Post have an express guarantee. I paid express post and it certainly was not delivered on time. So I get that refunded at least. So here we are. First of all, it looks very nice there. I hope that's not too glary for you. I did know what the cover was gonna look like. They released the artwork online or a couple months in advance of the album release. So I already knew what that would look like, but it's nice to see it big on an LP sleeve. And on the back, that's actually a little hard to read, but it's got the, the track list. So you can see side A has Dead Inside, Drill Sergeant, Psycho, and Mercy. Side B has Reapers, The Handler, very small side B. Side C has JFK, Defector, Revolt, and Aftermath. And side D has The Globalist and Drones. And it says, produced by Robert Lang, who actually produced the legendary Back in Black album from ACDC, as well as countless others. And also co-produced by Muse. Yeah, random copyright crap down the bottom barcode etc 
And this is shrink wrapped, so that's going to be a lot of fun to open. So you can see drones on the side there, you can just see Muse. And one thing that's interesting, I didn't notice in the wrapping before, you can see this suited arm there grabbing the control of the controller. And if we, as we flip that over, that arm actually extends. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's open it. Let's leave that there, I guess. Very cool. Again, I'd seen this before in the picture when you order. They show the inside of it, I guess, so you know what you're ordering. Always a good idea. And we open it up. Very nice. So that's some sort of skull created by what I assume is a Tesla coil somewhere. Not exactly sure what it's meant to signify, but certainly looks cool. And then people being, I guess, created from that and walking out. I guess the symbolism there is, you know, they are drones, they are created from this um, overlord or superpower, um, mastermind even. And they come from that mind, and so they're just gonna do the willing of that mind. Now the Deluxe Order comes with two discs. We have the CD here, and actually that's cool how the art sort of, you know, I can put that on top of that there, and it, it blends in with the artwork. It also comes with a DVD, which after the release of the first single, Psycho, again, that matches up quite nicely. Muse went on a tour just around England. They did a handful of shows. They called it the Psycho Tour. So yeah, you get the two discs with that, but you also get the LPs. Ah, now that's cool. Before we get onto that, every deluxe edition comes with two pieces of artwork. The artwork is, I guess, concept art from the various songs. So there's 10 pieces of art total, but each order is just randomized and you will receive two pieces of those artworks. And what I just noticed here is it shows the art on the album sleeves. Ooh, that's cool. I really hope I get that one. So they were designed by, I'm not sure who, there's probably credits for them somewhere. And I assume that is one piece of art. And if we go over here, oh yes. I didn't mean to see that, the whole idea was that was gonna be a surprise for later. Hello, I just got a message. So yeah, that was meant to be a surprise for later, but guess that's what I got. Let's leave that there for the moment. And you can see here are the other pieces of art as well. And what's interesting, so I don't think anyone will get that, but that is very, very cool. I assume they're already on eBay, but I want to get every single one these pieces of art because that is just that would make a really awesome collection plus it's nice symbolism of the songs my friend actually ordered ordered his box set or not a box set deluxe edition um like two days before release and he only did standard mail not express and he received it before me so how's that for great service from Australia Post? But his two pieces of artwork, I was talking to him, he showed me, were this one here for Revolt and this one for Aftermath. 
and they certainly look really cool. I especially like that one. So getting that in the big artwork is gonna look really cool. I can see myself on eBay in a couple of weeks searching for all those arts, art pieces. Probably, I don't know, I'd, I'd place them at $50 each. If I was to sell mine, I'd sell them for around 50. Sure, the whole package was 80, but these are a collector's item, and if you're selling them exclusively to people trying to get them, I don't know, it just seems, seems like a price. Like, I hate trying to take advantage of people and scalping things for money, trying to get as much as they're worth. Um, but I don't know, $50 just seems like a fair price. I certainly won't complain if it's cheaper. Oh, and you also get a nice little, looks like a business card. It is actually a download card. I was already able to download it because they emailed me, probably not that same code. I should probably cover that. So yeah, probably shouldn't be giving away free download codes. But I was already able to download the album. It was emailed to me on the release date uh, because of the pre-order that I did. So even though I hadn't received this previously, I was at least able to listen to the whole album. And that is actually how I was able to review the album. So if you go to my blog, sexstarwarsrockandroll.com, or rather, dot blogspot.com, you know the website anyway, uh, the latest comic that I did was for Drone. So I did a funny little comic and then I reviewed all the tracks one by one and then I did an overall review of the album. And that is thanks to the download code that I received prior to receiving this. Otherwise, you certainly would have had to wait quite a long while. And I'd also be very, very annoyed. So let's get to the artwork pieces. That is just really cool. I don't know, I just like something about it. The cartooniness of it with the eyes on the warheads, that just looks really awesome. And especially when you compare it to the other ones, they're all sort of, you know, dark and photorealistic in a way. That one's a bit more artsy, but yeah, you look at them and they've all just got that kind of, kind of dark, just darkness to them. But this one, even though Reapers is a pretty heavy song and kind of dark in itself, it just sort of livens it up a bit and that looks really cool. And you can see it's numbered, so this is four out of 10. Like I said, there's 10 pieces of artwork. That last one there doesn't count. And it says Reapers. So I guess just in case you're blind and can't see that there or didn't know that the art correlated to the songs, it does say which song the artwork is a concept of and it's got a nice embossed muse logo down there so not sure if you can see that but that is very nice and it's on a nice thick card second piece now my friend got seven and eight so i'm assuming i'm going to get three and four if they're paired together and then randomly assigned or if it's completely random i guess it was just a coincidence that he got seven and eight but I'm betting this is number three, which is Mercy. Hey, and there we go. So either that's a massive coincidence that I got three and four, he got seven and eight, or they were paired and then randomly distributed as opposed to randomly distributing all of them. But I certainly make it easier to collect them given that they're all gonna be in pairs rather than trying to find just one. Because if people are selling them, they'll probably be selling them together. So what's cool with this one is she looks like some kind of mermaid thing maybe, or actually Calypso from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies and stories springs to mind. And you can see she's got scissors on one arm. I'm not entirely sure what that is there. Dead roses maybe. And she's in, she's rather big for that boat. But anyway, the boat obviously has holes in it and is sinking. And there's weird bird shark people underneath. I don't know if they're attacking the boat or if they're there to help her. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Uh, but she's also naked, except of course the boat covers up her lady parts. I don't know if they're silhouettes or people hanging onto her hair, but of course they cover up her boobs. 
or should I say nipples? You can still see her boobs, but her nipples are, for some reason, I guess taboo in social culture and pop culture. If you see them on the web, if they're female nipples at least, then that's a big no-no and it's suddenly porn. If you see male nipples, then that's fine. And same in day-to-day -day everything. But I don't think that's the case here. It's obviously just part of the design. And it's kind of cool having the, um, actually you can see female and male, and they're obviously in some sort of balance, but yeah, holding on to what I assume is her hair around her neck. And I guess they're at the mercy of her. With her big scissors there, she could cut them off and they fall into this sinking boat. So yeah, there's a nice bit of symbolism there. Her face looks very scary. And actually just quickly talking about nipples, if you really want to see some, dead inside. So you can't see anything there, but if you watch the lyric video for it, not the film clip, but the lyric video, there's some chick dancing, she's all bronzed up, and there's plenty of boobs all in that. So if you really want to get, if you really want to get your fix, go watch that. But they are very cool. Two out of 10 down, eight to go. It's gonna take a while and probably a lot of money, but certainly worth it. But what I'm really excited for is if we open these, not sure which end they open from, the top. This is cool. This is very, very cool. Hundred and eighty GSM, which is grams per is it grams per square meter? That doesn't make a lot of sense. But yeah, so your heavyweight vinyl, but as you can see, that is a nice bright red. Now, a lot of vinyls, most vinyls, are black. And Muse obviously thought it would be a cool idea to do them in a different color, and that is definitely a cool idea. So that's side A there. One thing that's interesting, if you flip it exactly over, the stickers aren't aligned. They're at least at 90 degrees, so they're not just randomly stuck on, but I would have thought they'd be aligned with each other. Anyway, that's side B. And there's a bit of, obviously came out of the mold and they didn't file that off. I might have to clean that up a bit, but that is just really cool. So let's put that back in. And of course, the other one's the same, but let's just get it out anyway. Yes, there we go. Seriously, how awesome is that? It's like vinyls are just cool anyway. I wouldn't say I'm an avid collector. Some people, especially hipster type people, they just love collecting vinyl because it's all retro and stuff. I'm more a collector of the special edition type things. So. You'll see plenty of other stuff later when I do hands-on reviews for them. Um, I've only got a few vinyls, but it's because they're a collector's item specifically, that album or whatever it is. I'm not just going to get an album of any old random CD to have it in vinyl form. I much prefer collecting CDs for that. If I want music, I'm going to buy the CD. But if it's a special vinyl, that is when I get it. And this is indeed very special. I don't know how that catches in the light for you, but for me, that just looks really cool. The light refracting through the grooves there, pretty awesome. And again, so actually, whereas the last one, the stickers were at 90 degrees, these ones are at 180. So you can see that's the correct side there. And as we flip over, it's upside, ooh, actually, Ooh, it's not at 180. It would appear as though stickers were just randomly stuck on. On the other one, they happen to get it right at 90 degrees. But this one, if that's 180 there, and I flip this over, that transition may not have been very smooth. But there's an angle. It's 180 plus a bit. So like 185 or something. Dodgy sticker people can't even do their job. 
Uh, time to put that away. Actually, that looks cool. Definitely want to get that one too. So, there you have it. That is Muse Drones. And that is really awesome. This is definitely one of the longest videos I've done. I know I've been rambling, but there's also been a lot of shit to cover. Even my longest t-shirt videos only go for like 15 minutes. And then I edit them down to about three, four, five, sometimes six minutes. This one is, oh hey, it's me. Shit, 25 minutes. So yeah, definitely gonna have to do a little bit of editing there. We'll try and keep it shorter for next time. But it was the first video I did and there was a lot of stuff to go through. So I guess it kind of makes sense a little bit that it was long. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Time to play this album. I've already heard it, but I haven't been able to pump it. So that's what I'll be doing for the next hour. And then I'll probably watch the DVD as well. So give me two hours and then I can sort all this shit out and I'll put it up on YouTube for everyone to watch. I'm not sure how often I'll be getting hands on with things. I'm probably going to go with maybe once a month. So I guess you just have to wait and see what I do next time. Until then, Stay handsy.